Hyperloop One tests a full-scale version, Laeco is getting sued by Vizio, MIT envisions 3D without the glasses, and more. It's Wednesday, July 12th, and this is Crunch Report. Happy Net Neutrality Day of Action, people! Contact your local representative if you can and voice your opinion. Net neutrality is an issue that will affect you directly. All right, enough activism. Here's the news. Laeco has had a ton of problems lately. Days ago, a Shanghai court froze $180 million in assets belonging to the Laeco founder and former CEO, his wife, and three Laeco affiliates. Then Faraday Future, which lists Laeco as a major financial backer, announced it was not going to build a $1 billion factory in the Nevada desert. News also broke earlier today that Laeco would not be paying some of its workers in China until August 10th. Just a crazy downhill spiral from the company they once called the Netflix of China. Who else is now attacking the beleaguered company? Last summer, Laeco announced it intended to purchase the US-based TV maker Vizio for $2 billion. The deal fell through. Allegedly, the deal included a $100 million buyer termination fee, and now Vizio has filed suit in California court to collect payment. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Uh, uh, uh. You got till five o'clock, you hear me? You got till five o'clock. You freaking psychopath! Yeah, clean yourself up. Hyperloop One conducted the first full-scale system test achieving full vacuum conditions in its closed tube environment with a test pod that's the actual size of what it envisions for its production systems. The ultra-high-speed transit system didn't pull off any speed records, however, the test pod vehicle topped out at 70 miles per hour on H1's test track in Nevada. Eventually, theoretically at least, that speed should reach over 750 miles per hour. But full vacuum conditions in itself is a pretty big milestone. There's still a lot to work out before Hyperloop One can begin offering service in its inaugural planned projects, including a system that connects Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which is expected to achieve speeds of 500 miles per hour. But progress is progress, and a full-scale test is definitely a step in the right direction. Microsoft announced a new AI research group this morning that will tackle generalized artificial intelligence. Basically the kind of AI that's very far away and actually somewhat scary. The company acquired Maluba a few months ago with the aim of putting more resources into more far-reaching AI problems. Microsoft's move will inevitably be compared with Google's DeepMind, which has many of the same aims. Microsoft is racking up partnerships with academic institutions like MIT Center for Brains, Minds, and Machines and prepping to hire in new researchers. And of course, Microsoft will be creating an AI ethics panel to guide the work. You know what they need? A new AI fund. Oh wait, they have one. God help us. Hardware is sexy, but it seems to always get in the way of awesome experiences. Google Glass with AR, 3D glasses with 3D movies, you get the picture. Well, a team at MIT is working on some cool tech that would solve at least the latter problem of wonky 3D glasses that get in between you and your movies. Their key is to remove the glasses altogether. MIT was able to convert existing 3D movies into a format compatible with auto-multiscopic displays and then apply a fancy conversion algorithm called Home 3D to make the elevated experience work on a readily available GPU. All of this begs the question, is any of this real? Is this entire world I see just one depressing home 3D algorithm? Critical hump day questions, y'all. That's the report for today. Yo, yo, hit that like or love button. Share this video and keep raging. Share it. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.